Congratulations on such Thank a you. beautiful, beautiful uh, 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 series. Wow. I'm, Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. I'm blown away. Uh, I, I have to start with Aria Marie. Uh, Aria Mia, I got to get that name right. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> but Marie, you're on the right track because I play Marie, so yeah. you're okay. It works on Yeah. <laughs> uh, this audition must have been um, uh, just exciting for you, was yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I didn't go into it expecting anything to come of it. I was just enjoying the process, and um, maybe that's why I wasn't nervous um, throughout the whole thing. Is I was just enjoying meeting the people, and... I really never thought anything would happen. I actually had a little speech prepared that was just thanking them for doing this the way they were doing it and thanking them for their time with me and asking if they could see someone like me being good enough to do community theater. So um, I didn't expect anything to come of it. It was about a three week long process. And you weren't um, nervous when you did the auditions? What? Well, no, because I just, I was like, oh, I'm just having a good time in my bedroom, really. I was just like, Jesus, I'm jealous. I don't know. And then I think once <laughs> it got to the, you could sort of see something change like yeah. two weeks in and you could see like Sean's energy became more, this is all business. And I think at that point he must have known what he wanted to do yeah. and he was just testing me. That's when I was like, oh, something, there's something with this. This is, oh, maybe I, maybe I could ask if I'm good enough for community theater at that point. And that was like, I just didn't expect anything. And I think if I had gone in with the mindset um, you know, honestly, that I have now as a as someone who's like focusing my career on on acting. If I went in with the mindset that I have now of like, oh, I I want to book this job, it would have been a completely different thing. And I um, I just really am grateful that I was able to start with with a minimal amount of pressure, um, and just to do it for the joy of doing it. And now, as you know, I'm auditioning, you know, with the with the strike now resolved. Um, auditioning now um, for, for stuff is like it's such a, a freer experience than say applying for academic posts or conferences or whatever where I was always just terrified and I just feel like I'm myself and I'm happy and like yeah of course I get nervous now but I'm I just I'm finally happy and I found that through this audition process it's wonderful and it's really cool mm -hmm. I, I just have to say that you are an incredible actress and and uh, it <laughs> You're in the right business now. This is. This <laughs> Thank is you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, um, yeah, it was always something I wanted to do as a kid, and I, I just, it was like going to the moon. It just seemed like a, the most impractical, unbelievable thing, and I, I'm just, I fell into it, and I'm so grateful that I did. But um, I got to start with amazing people. I'm very lucky. Thank you. And Lewis, uh, uh, talk to me a little bit of Werner. He is, he's an. This is an incredible character. Yeah. Well, so I must admit I hadn't read the book beforehand, which I know is a disgrace. Yeah. Um, but as soon as, I, as soon as I got the part, I read the book and loved it and fell in love with the character even more than I had already fallen mm. in love with it um, reading the script. Because I think it's, I mean, he's this sort of lost soul, quiet, pensive character and gets thrown into this Really, really into this mess and being indoctrinated into this evil, which um, he certainly doesn't subscribe to or tries not to su subscribe to. And what I think what I loved about him was the constant fight, the constant fight against what is sort of being put upon him, the fight against that, the, the, and the constant standing up and fighting for the good. And um, I think that's just very admirable. Um, uh, a thing to do and that he I think yeah the, the sort of constant search for the good in people his moral compass the search in, for, for the love in the darkest of times I think that's just something that I really connect it with in our in our final seconds we have um, Aria what do you think audiences are going to take away from watching all the light we cannot see I'm hoping that they'll be able to and and some of the messages I've received from people are so beautiful and they, they, I think, confirm this, that I hope they'll be able to take away that we're all connected and we're all more similar than we think we are. We're all bound together and we're, we're part of one world and everything we do has a ripple effect. There are these sort of like invisible strings tying us together and in Marie and Werner's instance, there is 
not only the, the light of the radio that they cannot see, these radio waves binding them together throughout space and time, but a sense of hope that things can be better. And Marie, as a character with so much agency and control over her life, and Werner as someone who doesn't have that same agency and yearns for it, yearns to be out of his situation, for the two of them, they're sort of inverse in a way, to come together, they come from such different places. I think that's a message that we can all take away. Um, I hope it like, encourages people to hug their parents a little tighter, <laughs> to feel a bit more loved and seen, and that their truth can be expressed and there should be no shame in who they are, um, that they are the heroes of their own story, and that hope always prevails. It's, it's a really special thing to be a part of, and really grateful. And it's a special thing for us to watch, too, as well. What a beautiful performance for both of you. Uh, thank you so much for your time. I wish we could talk for another couple of hours. Um, and congratulations again. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thanks for your time. Thank you.